आकाशवाणी प्रेजेंट्स मॉर्निंग न्यूज गुड मॉर्निंग आम सुनील वर्मा द हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी सेज गवर्नमेंट इज मेकिंग ऑल आउट एफर्ट्स टू एंड हंगर एंड पॉवर्टी इन द कंट्री लेस फाउंडेशन ऑफ संत रविदास टेम्पल एट बरतूमा मध्य प्रदेश एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मिनिस्टर एस जयशंकर टेल्स आकाशवाणी इंडिया इज वर्किंग विद वर्ल्ड विद मोर असर्टिव एंड नेशनल इंटरेस्ट ड्रिवन अप्रोच हर घर तिरंगा कैंपेन टू स्टार्ट अक्रॉस द कंट्री टूडे टिल इंडिपेंडेंस डे आई एम डी प्रोडिक्स कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल ओवर हिमाचल प्रदेश बिहार सब हिमालयन वेस्ट बंगाल एंड सिक्किम टिल टुमारो Prime Minister Modi and Sports Minister Anurag Singh Thakur congratulate Indian men's hockey team for clinching Asian Hockey Championship trophy for fourth time. And in cricket, India beat West Indies in fourth T20 to level five match series 2-2 in Florida, USA. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that the government is making all out efforts to end hunger and poverty in the country. The prime minister was speaking on the occasion of Bhumi Poojan of the memorial and temple of Sant Ravidas at Bartuma near Sagar in Madhya Pradesh yesterday. On this occasion Mr Modi said his government started Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana to benefit Dalit, deprived tribal and backward classes of the country. हमने प्रधानमंत्री गरीब कल्याण अन्न योजना शुरू की 80 करोड़ से ज्यादा लोगों को मुफ्त राशन सुनिश्चित किया हमारे इन प्रयासों की तारीफ पूरी दुनिया में हो रही है आज देश गरीब कल्याण की जितनी भी बड़ी योजनाएं चला रहा है उसका सबसे बड़ा लाभ दलित पिछड़ा आदिवासी समाज को ही हो रहा है मिस्टर मोदी सेट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन द कंट्री द दलित बैकवर्ड कम्युनिटी इज गेटिंग द रिस्पेक्ट विच वॉज नॉट रिसीव इन द प्रीवियस गवर्नमेंट रिफरिंग टू द गवर्नमेंट्स कैंपेन अगेंस्ट डिजीजेज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेट दैट अ कैंपेन टू इराडिकेट सिकल सेल अनिमिया इज बींग रन टू ट्रीट सेवन क्रो पीपल सिमिलरली अ कैंपेन इज गोइंग ऑन टू गेट रिड ऑफ टीबी बाय ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव mentioning various public welfare schemes of the government mr modi said that from the matra vandana yojana on the birth of a child to mission indradhanush ayushman bharat for free treatment 701 eklavya residential schools in tribal areas for education sukanya samriddhi yojana for daughters mudra yojana and stand up yojana to make the youth self reliant are bringing changes in the lives of the down trodden deprived and backward classes he informed that 8000 crore rupees have been given to the youth of these sections under the stand up scheme Prime Minister Modi yesterday also laid the foundation stone and inaugurated rail and road projects worth about 4000 crore rupees in a program organized at Dhana in Sagar Madhya Pradesh. The memorial and temple of Sant Ravidas is taking shape at the cost of about 100 crore rupees on 11 acres of land at Bartuma near Sagar. Union Home and Cooperation Minister Amit Shah who is on a two day visit to Gujarat is scheduled to attend a series of events in Gandhinagar and Ahmedabad today. Mr Shah along with Chief Minister Bhupendra Patel will participate in the Tiranga Yatra to be held in Ahmedabad city as part of Meri Mitti Mera Desh campaign. The Home Minister will also virtually lay the foundation stone for the new building of the National Security Guard near Gandhinagar. We have more from our correspondent A dedicated campus for the NSG commandos will be built across 60 acres of land at Lekawada in Gandhinagar which will benefit Gujarat, Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. Union minister will also lay the foundation stone for two four lane roads in his native Mansa and for the modernization work of two public hospitals in his Lok Sabha constituency Gandhinagar. Apart from this the minister is also scheduled to inaugurate and lay the foundation stone for various developmental projects of the state government and Gandhinagar Urban Development Authority. Indeed evening the home minister will also attend the convocation ceremony of teachers university at mahatma mandir in gandhinagar aparna khun akashvani news gandhinagar 
Union Home Minister Amit Shah hailed the team of National Automated Fingerprint Identification System, NAFIS, of NCRB for winning the gold award under the Excellence in Government Process Reengineering for Digital Transformation Category 1 of the Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances, DARPG. The Union Home Minister tweeted and wrote that NAFIS makes its mark as a shining example of efficient governance as it wins DAPRG's Gold Award in Category 1. The award for its excellence in delivering e-governance is a recognition of the dedication the entire NAFIS team has put into creating a foolproof fingerprint identification system in pursuit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision of a secure India. Ministry of Home Affairs communicates that, that NAFIS has created a central b- database of fingerprints of criminals which can be accessed by users from all states, union territories and central agencies. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar asserted that India is working with the world with a more assertive and national interest-driven approach. In an exclusive interview with Akashwani, the minister said, the country's interests were often sacrificed because of some ideological reasons. He said it was an era where our capabilities were limited and also where we did not always put our nation, national interests first. We are nationalistic and international at the same time. That we are doing more with the world, but we always do so with India's interest at the core. Not like in the past where often we sacrificed India's interest or we put India's interest behind the interest of some other country because yes, of some right. ideological reason. Sometimes we did not get the gains that we could have, he added. But that is in the past, the minister said. He emphasized that the Narendra Modi government always works with the world while putting the country's interests at its core. Dr. Jayashankar acknowledged the historical significance of non-alignment, describing it as a manifestation of India's assertion of independence during a time when its capabilities were limited. He underscored the shift from the non-aligned era to a more assertive and national interest-driven approach in the present globalized landscape. The minister said that delegitimizing terrorism is the central point of India's foreign policy now. The minister said that the world is now seeing that India has zero tolerance for terrorism. Tune into the 100.1 FM Gold channel and additional frequencies of Akashwani News at 9.15pm to listen to the exclusive broadcast. This is Akashwani giving you the news. For quick news updates around the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. The Har Ghar Tiranga campaign to bolster the sense of patriotism among citizens will kick off today. The Union Culture Ministry said everyone can take part in this campaign by uploading their selfie with the Tiranga. The ministry said the government is celebrating Har Ghar Tiranga from the 13th to the 15th of August under the aegis of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. The aim of this campaign is to commemorate the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav with the essence of collaborative participation and increased Jan Bhagidari. As part of this initiative, the Department of Posts is serving as the designated entity responsible for selling and distributing high-quality national flags to the public. Addressing a press conference in New Delhi yesterday, Culture Secretary Govind Mohan said, the Postal Department has placed a requisition for 2 crore 50 lakh flags this year and 55 lakh flags have already been sent out through post offices. He said, the Ministry of Textiles has already sent out 1 crore 30 lakh flags to states. Mr. Mohan said, crores of flags are also being produced by self-help groups in states, indicating a trend of Atmanir Bharta in flag manufacturing. पिछले वर्ष की 1 करोड़ की तुलना में लगभग 2.5 करोड़ तिरंगों को पोस्ट ऑफिस के सारे चैनल्स में हमने सप्लाई किया है जो लोग भी खरीदना चाहते हैं तिरंगे वो पोस्ट ऑफिस से खरीद सके पिछले वर्ष के आधार पर क्रिएटिव्स बनाए हैं hargatiranga.com वेबसाइट पर वो सारे क्रिएटिव्स अपलोड किए हैं हर राज्य में और हर संघ प्रदेश में कल से लेके 15 तारीख तक प्रभात फेरियां निकलेंगी तिरंगा यात्राएं निकलेंगी स्कूलों में कॉलेजेस में बड़े-बड़े कार्यक्रम होंगे बहुत ज्यादा उत्साह है देश के हर कोने में प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी हैज अर्ज्ड पीपल टू होइस्ट द ट्राइकलर एट होम टू मार्क इंडिपेंडेंस डे 
In the latest episode of Man Ki Baat on Akashwani, Mr. Modi called for continuing the Har Ghar Tiranga tradition, which saw tremendous success and Jan Bhagidari last year. पिछले वर्ष स्वतंत्रता दिवस के अवसर पर हर घर तिरंगा अभियान के लिए जैसा पूरा देश एक साथ आया था वैसे ही हमें इस बार भी फिर से हर घर तिरंगा फहराना है और इस परंपरा को लगातार आगे बढ़ाना है इन प्रयासों से हमें अपने कर्तव्यों का बोध होगा देश की आजादी के लिए दिए गए असंख्य बलिदानों का बोध होगा आजादी के मूल्य का एहसास हो इसलिए हर देशवासी को इन प्रयासों से जरूर जुड़ना चाहिए Two beneficiaries of the Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi scheme hailing from Tripura will witness the Independence Day celebrations at the historic Red Fort Delhi on the 15th of August 2023 as special guests. 50 beneficiaries of the scheme along with their families are among around 1700 persons who have been invited to listen to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's address to the nation from the ramparts of the iconic monument. India Meteorological Department IMD has predicted that heavy to very heavy rainfall will continue over Himachal Pradesh, Bihar, sub Himalayan West Bengal and Sikkim till tomorrow. Heavy to very heavy rainfall is also likely to continue over Uttarakhand during the next 4 days. The weather office also forecast heavy rainfall activity over Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram and Tripura during the next 2 days. I'm just said subdued rainfall activity is likely over the rest of the country during the next 3 to 4 days. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has congratulated Indian men's hockey team on their spectacular victory in the Asian Championship. In a message Mr Modi said this is India's fourth triumph and it showcases the tireless dedication rigorous training and unyielding determination of our players he said their extraordinary performance has ignited immense pride across the nation sports minister anurag singh thakur and union home minister amit shah also congratulated the hockey team yesterday india won the hero asian hockey men's championship finals the men in blue team scored four goals against malaysia in a fast paced match at the mayor radha krishnan stadium in chennai and in cricket india beat west indies by nine wickets in the fourth t20 international to level the five match series 2-2 at central broward park lauder hill florida in the united states yesterday chasing a target of 179 runs set by west indies india made 179 for one in 17 overs Via Puram Avchandan snake boat rowed by the Palla Turutui Boat Club lifted the 69th edition of the Nehru Trophy boat race held on Punnamada Lake in Kerala's Alappuzha district last evening and now for a look at the day's newspapers it's over to Sara Muchtaba thank you sunil four key laws including data protection act get president's assent headlines the hindu India and China will hold their 19th round of talks tomorrow about a week before Prime Minister Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping meet in South Africa for the BRICS leader summit writes the Indian Express. The National Medical Commission has said that doctors must prescribe generic drugs which can cost 30 to 80% less than the branded counterparts or lose license reports the pioneer. Uttarakhand High Court has asked the state government to blacklist char dham operators who are cruel to animals. Right in the Sun Times. The Asian Age carries a photograph of a jubilant Indian hockey team with the caption India beat Malaysia for 3 to win Asian Champions Trophy 2023 for the fourth time. And the Times of India reveals that over 50% of MBBS top rankers pick general medicine as their specialty. The once popular general surgery has very few takers now. And with that, it's back to you, Sunil. Thank you, Zaira. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says government is making all-out efforts to end hunger and poverty in the country. Lays foundation of Sant Ravi Das Temple at Batuma, Madhya Pradesh. External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar tells Akashwani, India is working with the world with more assertive and national interest-driven approach. Har Ghar Tiranga campaign to start across the country today till Independence Day. IMD predicts continuation of heavy to very heavy rainfall over Himachal Pradesh, Bihar, sub Himalayan, West Bengal, and Sikkim till tomorrow. Prime Minister Modi and Sports Minister Anurag Singh Thakur congratulate Indian men's hockey team for clinching Asian Hockey Championship trophy for fourth time. And in cricket, India beat West Indies in. Both T20 to level five match series 2-2 in Florida, USA. And with that, we end the morning news. 
Have a nice day.